Hydrogen powered vehicles bring great promise, but they almost sound too good to be true. Fill a car with this highly compressed gas and it takes only three minutes. And the tank that you fill then allows you to travel further than any electric vehicle as the hydrogen feeds into a fuel cell chamber that then electrochemically reacts with oxygen and produces voltage for the electric motor. The result, well, only water will leave your tailpipe. No nasty CO2 emissions, no NOx or sulfur that creates smog and increases the risk of human disease after petrol and diesel combust with an internal combustion engine. Of the brands that have toyed with this fuel in the past, Hyundai wants to be the first to bring its Nexo fuel cell vehicle to market in time for Australia's first hydrogen refueling station to open, which is tipped for 2019. The medium SUV is about the same size as a $30,000 Hyundai Tucson, but here it will ask about three times that amount, and so begin some of the downsides. The process of making hydrogen is energy intensive and costly. A single carbon atom can be stripped from natural gas where four hydrogen atoms remain. Or water can be electrolyzed by pumping electricity into H2O and then separating the first letter, hydrogen, from the rest. Energy intensive means potentially using cheap coal-fired electricity, however, which would reduce any environmental benefit. Pick solar, wind or tidal energy to do the work though, and the hydrogen really is green. Hydrogen gas then needs to be heavily compressed, and that makes it highly energized and therefore flammable if a tank were to leak or break in a crash. And so the Nexos tanks are wrapped in one inch of carbon fiber, one of the industry's strongest and costliest materials. It's what they make Formula One cars out of. For all that though, its energy density is much lower than that of petrol. That's why a Nexos three tanks total 18.9 kilograms for a whole 156 litres, about three times larger than a Tucson. Hyundai Australia expects a cost of $10 to $16 per kilogram of hydrogen at the Bowser from next year, meaning the fuel tank refuel of a Nexo would cost between $190 and $300. On the upside though, it can travel 800 kilometres between refueling and will offer the same power and performance as the top model Tucson. But for now, it will likely only sell to government fleets given the price, and the expansion of hydrogen refueling stations is expected to be a slow trickle. Maybe five or ten new sites are tipped to open in the next decade. So how will this easy to refuel, long distance, water emitting but complex vehicle go up against plug-in hybrids and electric vehicles that brands are rushing out in increasing numbers? Well, EVs are becoming cheaper and their ranges are getting longer. So the writing could already be on the wall for a fuel that sounds too good to be true.